Hey you guys, welcome back to another edition of WWE Supercard. I'm your host, Aaron Mitchell, and today we got Ring Domination on gameplay. Technically day, day one, technically day two, because obviously, as you know, that Ring Domination started like 8, 9 p.m. now in the UK. So yeah, King of Ring, I'm going to update you on before we play at, um, Ring Domination. I'm currently 15 and 7. Ain't too bad. Quite an open King of Ring. Got Frostinski, 20 and 2. Shout to you. Jeremy, um, 18 and 4. Troy was 16 and 6, drunk with Marvin also 16 and 6. Then there's me and a chosen 15 and 7, Andre 14 and 8, Mud Hansen 13 and 9, Azim and NWO Hogan 10 and 12. And then my good buddy Renato 9 and 13, struggling a bit. Then we've got Obi the Kid with 7 and 15, Big Bad Al with 5, Tricky Chef with 4, 18, Paul 3 and 19, and Night Tower 1 and 21. So yeah, I Apart from Marvin, I ain't lost. I don't think since I woke up. You know, I woke up around about here. Um, I lost to Azim. Um, procs and calls. Marvin beat me. Paul, I didn't energize because I thought you know it would have been an easy victory for me, but turned out nope, it wasn't. So that's how I lost to Paul. So. That's four and three. Beat Tricky Chef, beat Night Terror, beat Ren. How did I lose to Frostansky? Is it is he a guaranteed loss? I beat them there. He wins there, fair enough. He wins there. Depends on the court. like if I was the Android there I would have won and depends there as well. So yeah. Potentially, I could potentially beat Frostansky. He wins those two, depends there. And there, and he wins there. So I need to try and avoid Jeremy. Try. Um, he wins there. I win there. Depends on the calls there. Pretty much the same there. If it's speed quiz, I obviously win. And depends on the calls there. So I can beat Troy. And those are probably the big. Ones I need to be wary of. So we're gonna get into the gameplay now. I am. Um, back. Sorry about that. I do. Um, pick my little sister's call my mother or something in the background. So I pause the video whilst she finishes calling. So yeah, I'm four or five shots on Matt Hardy. He is. He is the first card of the two event cards. Matt and Jeff Hardy. The WrestleMania card is um what is it face Ken Shamrock, who I'm gonna be putting it gonna be putting in now because Dean Ambrose is fully done games wise. Just checking Ken Shamrock. That's why I got Naka in as well. As if he's leveled up a little bit as well. I did have Roman Reigns in as well as Dean Ambrose get games done. Roman is already done. I leveled him up like book to ten levels so he can beat Dean Ambrose. If Ambrose procs on that, so yeah, so we'll chuck Sinchke there. So yeah, um, I'm hoping to maybe get about halfway on, um, I was gonna say Nakamura for some reason on Matt Hardy tonight, and then probably the same, or maybe even finish Jeff Hardy tomorrow. Yeah. That is the case, and I probably will grind um, a bit of wild, wild mod to get the game set on Matt and Jeff Hardy. Toughness, Christmas? Yes, toughness. So, yeah, I was meant to be going to watch Fast and Furious 7 today. If I was going to, it would have been, I would have been in the cinema now, right this second, watching it. But I had to cancel those plans yesterday because I was. Might have, I might have had to go to the hospital because of my ribs. Because as you know, yeah, as I said in yesterday's video, I was having a bit of pain with them, quite bad pain. But I woke up this morning and they seem fine, so I ain't gone today. So kind of annoying because I had to cancel my plans for it. I know it's better, but obviously I have to put my health first before anything else. So yeah. But as you can see, yeah, I am five shots on Matt Hardy. Found the two big ones within the first two 
shards, which are quite cool. And then it's been a bit of a pain since then. But I am hyped nonetheless to be getting both Matt and Jeff Hardy. Because they're probably my favourite tag team of all time. Because I've grown up watching the Hardys, wherever they were in TNA, WWE, wherever. I didn't watch them in Ring of Honor in that short stint they had for like a, a month or so in Ring of Honor. I didn't watch them then. So I'm not sure many matches they actually have. If it was, if it was the only like the two matches when they debuted. And then when he dropped the titles or not, I'm not too sure. But I've watched the Hardys in TNA and in WWE. So I've grown up watching the Hardys. Same with like when the Dudleys were there. Edge and Christian, I grew up watching them. Those like type of tag teams, same as like Cena, Jericho. I even include Batista, Randy Orton, etc. Et Those are the ones who like, I grew up watching. I am um, with like the likes of Austin, Rock and Art. I started watching it as they were starting to leave WWE. You know, like Austin retired because of neck injuries. Rock left to pursue a Hollywood career, which he's now, if I'm correct, the highest paid actor in the world right now, which is insane. He stars in like the like films like Fast and Furious and all that. A lot of big selling. Uh, movies that the Rockers had in mainly Fast and Furious. So yeah, so I'm pro probably gonna reschedule watch it. Going to see Fast and Furious different date with my friends. So yeah, if not, I'll probably just if not, I'll just wait until it's available to watch on wherever. And if I'm I'm not sure if it's available now on PlayStation Store, but I know at some point like movies do come available. So if it is, I may I know it's highly unlikely, but I'm probably gonna have a little check now see if it is available to watch if it is that would be awesome but I highly highly doubt it will be no it doesn't look like it let's search um how long's video been eight minutes right so I'll leave that for now and King of Ring currently two and one wow <laughs> this at this point in time, probably ooh, got ran after Night Terror. Probably want Andres for Night Terror, like I ain't for Tricky Chef. Tell you, Andres for Paul. I think I might have. No, I don't. Oh, yeah, the Andres anyway, so it doesn't matter. But Night Terror, I doubt that Andres for. And then I'd probably I'd have to Andres for Renato, chosen one. Probably Andres against Frasinski, Jeremy, Troy, Andre. At the time now. So let's say. 10 to so and saying that we're so 10 to 7 10 to 8 10 to 9 10 to 10 10 to 11 10 to 12 10 to 1 that's probably the la Andre's probably the last match I'll Andre's for or maybe Azim I'm not too sure but yeah King Ring chat Ooh, Marvin looks like he wants to um drop rank and knock the top players out if that's the case i may avoid marvin and try to finish in um sixth place so then that way i will get the uh, i can beat troy and then potentially advance to the semi-finals hopefully jeremy gets upset by andre and then maybe i beat andre and then go on so yeah so Let's just play this last money in the bank boat and then see if I did manage to get the victory in that King Ring match. I know it was 2 and 1, so I am in a good position to get the victory, but you never know in King of Rings. And yeah, he's like one of the bottom guys in the King of Ring, but there are some people who, for some reason, even when they're like bottom, if it's a bot or if it's a human, sometimes they seem to energize against like the top guys, like the ones who are qualifying, because like, like I have done. I thinking he's not gonna enjoy his he's from departments easy victory, no need to enjoy his. That's why I lost the game against the guy Gary is that was that the guy's name? Whoever it was, that's how I lost like five nil because I had an energize. If I had energized I would have won, but because I thought he's like one at the bottom at the moment, I won't energize. Because I did that 
for some reason he enjoys and beat me so that is a pain but it does happen sometimes and let's just hope now that they don't bring out a WrestleMania 33 Pro and I can get the 40 contracts here. I'm not going to cash in on Mojo or Tega this month. I'll probably wait till the next cycle. Because, uh, yeah, the roller coaster thing is quite cool, especially with the Pro of the. Um, what do you call them? The. Pomp. Um, things. Attitudes, that's what they're called. Uh, like on a roller coaster, yeah, that's quite cool, but the design I'm not a big fan of. So I'm going to sit out of these ones, going to cash in for probably be payback ones, which. Payback, I got I know I, I've seen this well for me, I've seen mine as ones going to be good, but I've got a good feeling that the payback ones may actually be really cool. Oh, so it's 2 2. Who's going to win? I got. I don't know why, but I've got a feeling I'm going to lose. Because I have an Android, so I've got a big, big feeling I'm going to lose. Let, just to tell you more, guys, let's go to last game's Tricky Chef. Paul, that's it, but I don't know why I said Gary. If I had an if I had energized, I would have won, would have won, would have won, would have won, would have won. I don't know about that one. So what do you guys reckon? Leave a comment down below if you reckon I'm going to win or not. I got a feeling I'm going to lose. It's going to be three two two tricky chef. And I knew it. Let's see how. Never won energized a bit as well. So I would have won there if you had an energized. I won there anyway. Won there anyway. Fair enough. And I I would have won if I had Andres. One of the, that's big pain when that happens. Oh well. What can I do is ready done now. So that's gonna be it for today you guys. We'll be back again soon with another edition of WWE Supercard. I've been your host, Aaron Mitchell from the hashtag Broken Ones and KF Knight YT. As always, don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe down below for more. As always guys, don't forget to peace out.